All right, we've brought Donna back. Um, and in just talking to all each of the ladies about what their fitting problems were, what they had problems with, Donna mentioned a tummy. So I purposely did a skirt for her so that you could, um, we could kind of talk about those issues. Whenever you have a tummy, what happens is the front of the garment pulls up and the hemline becomes higher in the front than in the back. And I'm sure all of you have experienced that and know that a tummy is part of being a woman. You know, it kind of goes all in the ballpark. So what I did is I asked Donna to measure her hips sitting, which she did. All of our patterns are finished garment measurements. So she put a tape measure around her hips, sat, loved that number, did you not? And I went ahead and made a sloper up according to that size. In this particular case, I used a plaid because I wanted to make sure that everything was hanging straight, the lines were hanging straight at the bottom. Many of you have mentioned using gingham and I, I can't stand looking at gingham, it drives my eyes crazy. So you can use whatever you want, but in this case I used a plaid so that we could see that the hem and everything was straight. Now what the what the tummy will do is it'll throw off the angle of the waist and chances are it's not exactly right on the pattern that's a very difficult thing to get correct so the hemline will be uneven so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put an elastic around Donna and I'm gonna ask her where she wants her waist to be and actually I know that may sound funny but you can kinda of put your waist wherever you want it to be um, if some people like it lower higher but I'm gonna ask her to move it it's stuck under that pin until it's comfortable on her Now, the reason you want to use an elastic is, and I'm going to turn Donna around, you'll find that the waist is not the same all the way around, and you are literally going to mark the waist where the elastic goes, regardless of what the pattern has it marked previously. Now, what I've got to do is I've got to make sure the hem, and if you'll notice, it's actually going down in the front. I've got to make sure that I pull that up and make it straight. So I think you can probably see it easiest, turn sidewards. I'm going to turn her sidewards and I'm going to adjust this in the front until that hemline at the bottom becomes straight. And it will be obviously pulled up more in the front, nothing in the back, until the hemline at the bottom becomes straight. Now you can see that what I've done is I've actually just moved her waistline down. And that has gotten to a point now where the hemline is straight. And once we cut off this extra, no one will ever know that we removed any out of the waistline. So actually what happens is the tummy comes out. You actually need less length in the front. And so if you pull that up, removing length, then I get the hemline at the bottom to be straight. Okay, simple little process. I'm going to come in now with my little chalker. And I'm going to go ahead, it doesn't matter what you use, I'm going to just chalk right there where her waist is. I would cut a 3 8 inch seam allowance above it, and I'd be good to go. And again, we'll show these pattern changes when we get to the table and start doing actually all the changes. And this is something that I'll show you a little bit later. She can carry this forward to all of her skirt patterns. She won't actually have to drape this every time she makes a skirt, which is one of the values of draping is that we'll be able to keep some constants and they'll move forward from pattern to pattern to pattern. All right, this is the skirt that Donna had on and um, one of our biggest problems was that protruding tummy and we wanted to make sure that the hem was straight. Nothing magnifies a tummy more as if that hem is, is pulled up just like the tummy is. So we draped this on her, we marked the waistline and you can see my chalk line going across here. Just so that I transfer that chalk line a little more accurately, I'm gonna suggest that you release these darts I have not, I didn't have to make any changes to the darts. The pattern fit her um, just right circumference wise. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out. And if they're basted, you shouldn't have too much problem. And if you do, you have no one to blame but yourself. But I'm just going to slip those out. And then you can see that it just lays down a little flatter. And of course, my markings are going to be easier to transfer. And I'm simply going to lay the pattern on top and follow those chalkings. I'm just going to kind of peek underneath. Now keep in mind that this is actually her waist. So as I'm marking these lines, and one thing you can do, because let me just show you that the waistline follows a French curve. So once I get the shaping as to where that goes, 
I can use that to kind of guide me as I'm marking the tissue. I'm going to lay that down and mark right along. Keep in mind that this is actually the stitching line. So after I've marked it, I want to come back up and add a 3 8 inch seam line so that this is not my this is my stitch line, but I want to make sure that I've drawn my cut line on there so I know where to cut. Then I can lay the facing pieces on there and literally do the exact same thing. I'm just going to change the width of my facing pieces. And if I've cut out of my facing pieces, certainly I can cut them a little bit wider and um, it'll still preserve the shaping. All I'm worried about is changing the shaping along the top here. And we notice as we come along to the back, it blends right back into where it was. So all I'm looking to do is trace that line underneath, mark it on my tissue. Again though, this is a great example of where do I really need to change the tissue or could I go ahead, since I've got my center front line marked and I've got my darts marked, I could release the darts and literally use this for my pattern. It's straight a grain, I used a plaid. Um, whether you make the changes to the tissue or whether you make, go ahead and use the cloth as your pattern, not a right or a wrong, whatever is most comfortable to you. And the whole goal is to be successful.